Hey, hey, welcome to another episode of the Superpowered Fancast. This is Darren. And if you're listening to this episode, then you know that it's Halloween. So this episode is going to be about uh, the scary movies that the ones that are my favorite, not all of them. I think I'm going to go with like my top five, but these are all about the uh, things that go bump in the night. So um, I think, frankly, I'm just kind of going to go ahead and save a lot of the preamble like they're one of the reason why I it's 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 been a while since I've uh since I've recorded this I haven't necessarily been feeling well but I wanted to get back and uh and have an episode and talk to you guys and get your feedback on uh, and thank you again to everyone who uh listens and downloads the podcast and thank you to everyone who goes to uh superpoweredfancast.com and uh, reads my articles and shares them, and I, I really appreciate that. So I wanted to say that. And of course, um, what better time to come back than uh, Halloween? And this is uh, going to be my my Halloween episode. So I think I'm probably just going to break it down to um, my top five. I'm going to talk about my top five uh, favorite horror movies to watch during um halloween and then i may talk i think i'm probably going to talk a little bit about uh about books and and comics that that i like to uh to read during this time as well so um without further ado i think i'll just kind of jump into it like my number five uh favorite horror movie to watch during halloween is So my number five um, favorite scary movie to watch during Halloween is Dario Argento's Suspiria. Now, if you've never uh, seen this film, you should definitely give it a watch. It is it is freaky and bizarre, and that's why it works so well. Um, It's just like a really weird color palette that Argento uses. Um, The movie is about an American ballerina who travels to Germany to attend a dance academy and what happens is she finds out that the uh that the academy that she's enrolled in is uh the den of a coven of witches who are um plotting against her it is uh again it's it's amazingly it's amazingly gruesome it's great visually you're definitely going to have a a lot of jump scares and a lot of uh this and it definitely going to have a visceral reaction when you watch it. So it's definitely one that I would recommend. And that is uh, number five, Suspiria by Daria Argento. Now, my number four uh, favorite horror movie to watch is um, Dawn of the Dead. Not the remake, although I actually like the, the remake, but the original uh, George Romero uh dawn of the dead film and one of the things i really loved about it is not only just the tension but the location now this is the one where it's like right after uh the events of of night of living dead and it shows a group of survivors and how they are dealing with the zombie apocalypse in fact that they have to hold themselves up in a uh, suburban mall in order to escape the carnage and that even there they're uh besieged by zombies who are uh basically just looking to consume like they did in real life i mean when they were alive so it's uh it's got a healthy dose of both scares and satire and that's that's one of the things i i really enjoy about it so that's what puts it at uh number four on my list of uh, scary uh, Halloween movies would be uh, the original George Romero, Dawn of the Dead. Now, my number three um, favorite horror movie to watch during Halloween is John Carpenter's The Thing. Now, this is actually a remake of an original, uh, of the original Thing movie, but this one is so atmospherically scary and the fact that it all takes place in 
you know, uh, it, it's it's it, it takes place in, in in a research facility in on the ice, so that it, you're cut off from civilization, and a creature that can mimic anyone, and just the effects alone were some of the scariest I'd ever seen uh, in a movie. I, I loved how they look. Uh, I love how the creature looks. I love like the practical effects that they used, and it's just taking the uh, like this the survival horror genre and mixing it with a healthy dose of paranoia. It just makes everything in that film works. Like there's literally nothing in that film that I don't think that uh, that I can't I can think of that doesn't work. Uh, on a on a practical or a, or a scary level, so that's one of the reasons why I love it so much. So number three would be uh, John Carpenter's The Thing. Now number two and one are kind of uh, almost akin to each other because one of the things that's I say always scared me has is not necessarily the uh, the thing from outside. But it's the loss of self, so or just uh, almost the uh, the the loss of control of self. So uh, this one, so and, and this one in the abstract can be can kind of sum up uh, my number two uh, choice. My number two choice uh, for favorite uh, horror films to watch during Halloween is um, Rosemary's Baby. Now. What's so interesting about this movie is that it is it's very slow. I mean, it's about a, a woman who moves into uh, a a, uh, a New York apartment with her uh, with her husband and uh, she gets pregnant and she's doing around all these uh, all these weird neighbors who are just like so uh, just you know interested in everything that she does. And it turns out that, you know, her. um that she's been impregnated by the devil and everyone that's around her are uh, devil worshipers. So it's a, uh, it's a very creepy atmospheric film. And it's one of the things I really, uh, I really enjoy about it. It's just, it's so, it, it's such a, it's such an interesting movie in that, you know, she's trying to deal with, the loss of control of her own body, but also the loss of, con- but also like trying to, to deal with how, where, what does she do now? So it's, it's, it's very, very good film. I, I, I love it a lot. I'm sure a lot of people have, have talked about it and can definitely talk about it with more uh, clarity and than I can, but I, I really enjoy that film. So number two on my list is Rosemary's baby. So my number one pick for a scary movie to watch during Halloween is the only film that really scares me is The Exorcist, William Friedkin's The Exorcist. Now, this is the definite this is the definition of a loss of self film. I mean, it's a very simple premise. I mean, it's about a a little girl who is possessed by a demon, but it's just such a it's just so visceral in that she's like taken over and she can't, uh, you know, just her, the lack of control. Uh, it's just so, it's so scary to me personally that it's one of those, um, it's just one of the, it's just one of those things that just, it unnerves me from start to finish. So it's, it's one of, uh, it's, and then Friedkin visually just makes everything just look so, creepy just from the shadows and you know the superimposing one image on top of the other and uh, it's just so so much of that film is just so visually startling that it still has is it almost still has an imprint on me today just as you know just as a fan watching it it, it has a I have a, a visceral reaction to that film and and even now, the weirdest thing about it is, is that even knowing that it scared me, I still have to watch it. Like I still, I, I can't not watch that movie. 
So that's um, so that's that's my number one. It's my number one scary uh, film of all time to me personally is The Exorcist, and I would love to hear what yours are. Like, let me know like what your favorite scary movies are. Uh, just kind of drop me a line. You can always contact me uh, on Twitter at Superpowered Fan, or um, you can email me at a uh, Superpowered Fancast at Gmail dot com, and let me know what your favorite uh, scary movie is. So, moving on from film, uh, let's talk about books. Now, I'm I'm a I'm an avid reader. I, I love just sitting down and reading a good book and my tastes tend to go tend to go everywhere they'll go from the classic to the modern uh i love um i love all kinds of different horror genres uh to sink my teeth into so my number five uh horror story to read is um the turn of the screw by Henry James. Now I love uh, gothic fiction. I love ghost stories, and this is both of them because it takes place. You know, it's 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 your it's your typical kind of um, British manor story where you have the the young governess uh, hired to uh, to take care of uh, young children. Then the young children are creepy, and the house is creepy, and there are ghosts around, and everyone's kind of creepy. It's 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 one of those. Uh, really really fun engaging uh gothic mysteries and i think that's one of the reasons why i enjoy reading it because it's so uh it's so tame by most standings but uh the prose itself allows you to kind of create uh the horror in your mind and that's what i really enjoy about it so number five is uh the turn of the screw by henry james so number four on my list of um, favorite horror stories to read is um, H.P. Lovecraft's The Call of Cthulhu. Now, anyone who's kind of, uh, who, who, who reads, uh, especially like uh, Stephen King or watches a lot of, uh, I'd say almost like modern kind of horror about uh, like, you know, demon worshiping cults and, and creatures from beyond and things like that. A lot of those things uh, are influenced by the call of Cthulhu by HP Lovecraft. And it's because, you know, it is, it's about uh, a man who, who discovers a, a cult who is uh, described, who are uh, worshiping the, the great old ones and giant monstrous beings. And the main one being, uh, Cthulhu and it's so atmospheric and well done that you, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it's just fun. Like those books are, those books and those stories are, are, are all really fun to read. And I, I really enjoy, uh, call of Cthulhu, uh, just because it's, it's almost a little bit nostalgic to the point of it could be uh, scary without being over the top, which you which you don't really find today with uh, with a lot of uh, of horror stories. So number four is Call of Cthulhu by H.P. Uh, Lovecraft. So number three on my list of um, of horror novels or horror stories to read is the classic uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Uh, it was uh, released in 1897, and it's one of those stories that endures for a reason because it does hit on all of the things that we are afraid of. Um, and it, it, it uh, even though it was controversial at the time, I mean, it still kind of resonates with uh with themes of just the the uh you know just the just the male dominated society like uh tamping down on female uh sexuality 
and just the 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 horror, the gothic horror elements, the the demonology elements, um, all of those things are there uh, in the story, and it's one of my favorites because it is told from the point of view of journals of everyone involved. So you're left to create this world in your mind. And those are always more effective to me, uh, in eliciting emotion than just telling me what's about to happen next. So number three on my list is, um, is the shining by Stephen King. And one of the things I love about that book is it three or is it two? I'm mean, it's very late. I and mean, it's it's late on a on a Halloween night, I think. I'm starting to get punchy. So <laughs> but uh The Shining is is definitely one of my favorite uh stories just because it it's it's one of those stories where it's about tragedy on on all sides like especially even with Jack like you actually feel sorry for Jack Torrance in that book because he's trying desperately to be better than he better than he was and to, he's haunted by a place that won't let him it just will not let him be a better man and and, and that's hard that, that, that's hard to deal with but it's done so well that uh, that is both scary and tragic at the same time. Now the next book on my list is um, probably the one of the two books that I read every um, every, every year, and it's the one that scares me the most is uh, Stephen King's It. And I know uh, anyone who's gone to see the film. You, you've seen just how uh, how scary Pennywise can be, and the the film really kind of nails that uh, that that menace. Uh, the new film nails it a lot more, and, and I loved Tim Curry's performance as Pennywise in the original in the um, the TV film, but this new version just really shows how how menacing Penny how menacing and scary. Pennywise is and that's always been one of my one of my go-to's is I've never been afraid of clowns have never been afraid of clouds clowns but but Pennywise scares me because you know that there's something just beyond something in, in something evil beyond that grin and it's always been uh, something that's haunted me so that's um, that's uh, that's probably the the book that's kind of scared me that's always scared me and i and i've always been drawn to it in the sense that i have to read it uh again like every year so there you have it i mean this is very really short kind of uh episode i just kind of want to put it out there for for halloween let people know that i'm still here we're gonna get better uh we're gonna have uh some guests coming up we'll be talking about um and talking about uh, stories and talking about um, comics and movies and things like that. And we're going to get back into the swing of things. We're going to go back to weekly. And I am here. And you can always contact me uh, at superpoweredfancast at gmail.com. You can rate and review the, the, uh, the podcast on iTunes at uh, superpoweredfancast. You can follow me on Twitter at superpoweredfan. Um, please uh, read, comment, let me know what you think of the articles that I write on superpoweredfancast.com. You can always find my reviews and news items on the Geeks Worldwide website at the gww.com as well. Until then, uh, have an amazing uh, Halloween, and I will talk to you next week. This has been a production of the GWW Radio Network. Please don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review us on iTunes, Stitcher, and SoundCloud. Also, check out Geeks Worldwide at the GWW.com for all the latest news, reviews, and opinions on video games, comics, movies, TV, cosplay, and more. Geeks! Geeks.
Assemble!